Tonight, two men shot in cold blood on a Boston street nearly two years after their murders. Former Patriot Aaron Hernandez is charged with the crime. Police have been looking into Hernandez's connection to these shootings for nearly a year now. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Jonathan Elias. I'm Paula Evan. Right now, we're standing by awaiting a news conference that will be from the fathers of the two victims. Hernandez was indicted today on two counts of first-degree murder and three counts of attempted murder. Investigators say the July 2012 shootings started with a chance encounter inside the Cure Lounge on Tremont Street. They say Hernandez followed Daniel De Abreu, Safiro Furtado, and their three friends as they left the club. Police say Hernandez then drove up beside their car and from the driver's side of an SUV fired several shots. Police have since recovered both the SUV and the gun. And we have live team coverage for you tonight on this big story. Beth Germano is standing by in Quincy for the news conference. Christina Hager has reaction from Patriots fans. But we're going to start things off with our chief correspondent, Joe Shortsley, who's live in Boston, just outside of that club. Joe? Yeah, Jonathan Paula, this is where things really began to unravel for Patriot superstar Aaron Hernandez just about two years ago. Club Cure in the theater district here in Boston. And some are suggesting there's a link between these murders and the murder of Odin Lloyd 11 months later. But what sparked these murders in 2012 is unclear tonight. Our investigation has not uncovered any evidence that these several individuals were known to each other. The district attorney Dan Connolly says Aaron Hernandez, who was playing for the Patriots at the time, and the two victims, 29-year-old Daniel De Abreu and 28-year-old Safiro Furtado, both of Dorchester, were out late on Tremont Street, Sunday, July 15, 2012, and chose the same destination. Court documents previously released state video footage from Cub Cure. An individual clearly recognizable as Aaron Hernandez is observed entering the club at approximately the same time as the victims. What happened inside the club remains a mystery, but something clearly happened, and prosecutors say the men came into contact with each other. I'm just going to generally describe it as a, as a chance encounter inside Cure, and uh, you'll hear more about the sort of texture and detail on that at the arraignment. Prosecutors said today that Aaron Hernandez followed the two men when they left the nightclub. He says when they stopped their BMW at this South End neighborhood, Aaron Hernandez pulled up alongside and opened fire with a 38 caliber weapon. For us, this case was never about Aaron Hernandez. This case was about two victims who were stalked, ambushed, and senselessly murdered on the streets of the city they called home. A third person in the car was shot and wounded. Two other people escaped unharmed, but prosecutors indicated today Hernandez fired his weapon at them as well. Now, prosecutors say that two dozen witnesses testified before the grand jury, which handed down that double murder indictment. Now, Aaron Hernandez will be tried first for murder in Bristol County for the murder of Odin Lloyd, and then at a later date here in Suffolk County for these murders. Live in downtown Boston, Joe Shortsleeve, WBZ News. Paula? Joe, thank you.